I want you to listen to this video. It's pretty good. When I see the fruit of self-control, the fruit of patience, the fruit of, of, of goodness, the fruit of long-suffering, and I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to produce that, and I'm holding that fruit, it's easy for me to identify what somebody's holding faith. We're going to do a test, okay? Which one of these is the real fruit? And which one of these is the fake fruit? If you think that this is the real fruit, raise your hand. If you think that this is the real fruit, raise your hand. You didn't raise your hand for none of them. <laughs> so you think you're slick, so I'm going to ask you, is this the real fruit, or is this the fake fruit? This is the fake fruit. All right. Hold both of them. Which one's the real one? You said that was fake. Watch this. Since she didn't have fruit herself, when I asked her, am I fruitful? She said, the fake fruit is the real one. It wasn't until she held the real fruit in her hand that she was able to say, oh no, this is the real one. Okay, give it back real quick. So I'm trying to get us to understand the reason you keep getting deceived is because you keep producing fake fruit. And until you allow the Holy Spirit to build in you real fruit, you'll constantly get deceived by fake fruit. And just because this has a sticker on it, see the sticker probably messed y'all up. You know what that is? The appearance. It's the appearance. They profess to know God, but by their actions, they deny him. Samuel, don't look at their appearance because man looks at the appearance, but God looks at the heart. And y'all just prove to me that your discernment can be off when you're not holding it yourself. Oh, that was so good. I also want you to watch my full video on signs that you have the Holy Spirit. And also let me know if you have any questions or comments, write them down below. Be sure to follow for more.